In this video, I'll introduce the notion of a transitive relation. Suppose we have a set, let's call it A. Then we can define a relation on the set A, which is just a subset of the Cartesian product of A with itself. And then we say that this relation is transitive. If we know that for all, for all elements x, y, z, so for all x, y, z that are elements of A, if we know that if x, y is an element of R and y, z is an element of R, and that this fact immediately implies that x, z is an element of R, if we know that this statement is true, then we can say R is transitive. So what this means is that if we know that this statement is true, so if we know that x is related to y, so if we know that x is related to y, and y is related to z, then this immediately implies that x is related to z. So if these two statements are true, then this statement must be true. And if this holds for all x, y, z uh, that are elements of A, then we can say that our relation is transitive. Now let's take a look at an example. Suppose we have the set of integers z. So z stands for the set of integers. So we have all the negative integers and then we have 0, and then we have all the positive integers. So this is the set of all integers. And let's say we define our relation R to be the following. So R is the set of all ordered pairs of integers. So xy is, a, is an element of the Cartesian product of z with itself. So xy itself, this ordered pair is, a, is an ordered pair of integers. So both x and y are integers. And these are ordered pairs such that x plus 3y is even. So what this means is xy will be an element of R if and only if x plus 3y is even. And so for an example, we know that 1, 3 is actually an element of R because you can check that 1 plus 3 times 3 is equal to 10, and this is even. And so that's why 1, 3 is an element of R. And so you can see also see that in this case uh, R is actually a subset of the Cartesian product of Z with itself. So R is actually a relation on Z. What I want to show you now is that this relation R is transitive. And to show that R is transitive what we need to show is that for the pairs XY and for the pairs YZ, so for these two pairs that are elements of R we need to show that if we know we know that these two ordered pairs are elements of R as a fact, then this must immediately imply that xz is also an element of R. So we need to show that if these two statements are true, then this statement must be true. And that's what we're going to show. To begin with our proof, we first start off with our given facts. So we know that xy is an element of R and yz is an element of R. What we want to do is to start from these given facts and to arrive at the conclusion that xz must also be an element of R. So this is our target. This is what we want to prove. And what we know at this point is that these two ordered pairs are elements of R. And since xy is an element of R, that means x plus 3y is even. So this is equal to 2 times some integer. So let's call it k1. And also y plus 3z is also equal to 2 times some integer. Let's call it k2. And now we're going to add these two expressions together. So on the left hand side we have x plus 3y plus y plus 3z. And on the right hand side we have 2k1 plus 2k2. And then rearranging some of the terms we get x plus 3z plus 4y is equal to 2 times k1 plus k2. And then we're going to subtract 4y from both sides, so we get x plus 3z is equal to 2 times k1 plus k2 minus 2y. So this is from subtracting 4y uh, uh, from this expression. So you can see that x plus 3z is actually equal to 2 multiplied by some integer. And so that means the pair xz must also be an element of r, because we've just proven that x plus 3z must also be even. And so this proves that xz must also be an element of R. And so this concludes our proof that R is a transitive relation, because we've just proven that if x is related to y and if y is related to z, then this immediately implies that x 
is related to z. And so this concludes our proof. And so this is just an example of how we can construct a transitive relation.